Time is following women when they walk up the stairs. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Shortimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Warlock build a figure waves, Jim Lee's Cyclops. Gotta give a big thanks to my friend Chu for finding the rest of this wave for me. Thank you so much, bro. And yes, finally, we are getting a new Cyclops for our Marvel Legends. Our six inch Marvel Legends have needed one for a long time. Very nice image of Cyclops right over there. On the very back, you can see the figure. There's a read up over here in multiple languages. If you want to read it, pause it now. There's the other figures from the wave. There's Cyclops again. We get an X at the top and not much more at the bottom. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Jim Lee Cyclops figure out of the packaging and Hasbro has finally given us a figure with paint shading. As you can see, we have black paint over the blue over here, which I think is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> April Fools. So yeah, here's the actual Marvel Legends Jim Lee Cyclops and it is awesome. I really like it a lot. Even though it does not have the paint shading, it is still a very good figure. I do have some qualms with it, but they're very minor gripes. I mostly just really am happy to have a fully articulated Jim Lee Cyclops figure with this Bucky Cap mold, which I think really works for the character, and we'd seen it used for Cyclops before in the past. Now, he does not come with any accessories aside from the Build-A-Figure part, but I will show you my custom optic blast briefly, and then we'll take a closer look at Cyclops. So here's my optic blast that I made many years ago. I believe I made this in 2000. 2009. Uh, just so, just to give you a little pointer on how to make one of these, what I did was I took some bendy wire and I made it uh, into this shape coming down over here and then looped it around, went around over there and then tied it all together and had pieces of bendy wire coming, or I used other pieces of smaller bendy wire to make this shape right here and then I used hot glue all the way through and flipping it over back and forth like that to fill this whole part out right here and then I just painted the whole thing up with red sharpie and it has withheld all this time uh, eight years yeah eight years ago I made this thing if you just use some wax or something to hold it together you're able to get a bunch of shots with it and you can make yours you know custom to this figure right here but yeah I just wanted to show that off really quick because I've had a lot of fun with it check out the slideshow at the end of the video now briefly going over the history of Cyclops aka Scott Summers most of us already know that he's the first X-Man to be recruited from Professor X. Uh, later on, he did lead the team. He does have a couple of love interests, Jean Grey and Emma Frost. He did have a thing with Psylocke, I believe. I remember reading that back in the day. And he does have two brothers, Havoc and Vulcan. Now, he did suffer from a concussion as a child falling out of a plane with Alex. And that basically is the reason why he does not have control over the optic blasts coming out of his eyes. And the way he produces those optic blasts is that his skin absorbs sunlight and converts it into the concussion of force that comes out of his eyes. So without either a visor or sunglasses, or Ruby Quartz sunglasses anyway, uh, his eyes are just going full blast. So if not for that concussion from falling out of the plane, he would be able to have control over his eyes. Uh, more recently, he was part of the Phoenix Five and he did kill Professor X, and then he willingly submitted to being uh, detained and then escaped prison and started his mutant revolution, and now he's considered a bit of a wacko and an extremist. Uh, and anyway, looking at the head sculpt, it looks great! I really like it a lot, man. Very good looking head sculpt. I think Hasbro did a fantastic job with this. I like it. Nice flesh tone. The visor looks good with that gold paint right there. I'm really digging it a lot. I really like how the hair came out too. Get some nice color variation in there. Black mixed in with the brown. Looking at the top. Looks really good. I'm digging this a lot. I was a big fan of Cyclops as a kid. Uh, I just really liked the idea of, you know, getting a cool power, but then having, you know, some kind of repercussions for it at the same time. But this looks really good. I'm liking it a lot. And then, of course, we're getting the Bucky Cap mold once again. Uh, we've seen this many times, and it really works on this figure. I would have liked to seen some black shadowing effect or something like that, you know, kind of like how we did it with the Marvel Universe figure, but it still looks really good, and I like it. Then we get this whole strap piece right over 
here that comes over the body. I've heard some people complain about this. For me, I have no issue with this at all whatsoever. I really dig it. I think it works well. There's just enough space in there for to allow for the articulation, but there's not enough space from this in the body to make it look too bulky or anything. And I really like the little bit of gold paint that we get right over there. The deco for the X logo looks fantastic. I like that. That's a little communicator right there. The belt looks really good. I'm liking that, little pouches and everything. And it's kind of tricky to tell, but this is made with a darker orange color than the yellow that we're seeing like on the briefs right over there on these straps, you know? So I think that's kind of neat to get that color variation in there. And then these little wristbands right here are loose, as well as all the bands on the figure. Of course, he has that Jean Grey pleasure pose right there on the left hand, and then he has a fist on the right hand right there. And this is looking really good with the deco. I'm liking that. And the pouches look good all the way through the back. Now, these right here are uh, the biggest downside of the figure. Not these in particular. I actually have more of a problem with the, the ones on the boots. Uh, but, you know, the blue looks solid all the way through. You know, just want to be thorough and talk about everything. I mean, we've seen these parts before. Same bucky cap feet and everything. But these straps right here are loosely placed on the figure. And it's bothersome, especially right down here. They just want to just slop, fall right down to it. His ankles. So I did apply super glue to the ones on this side so that they wouldn't fall down. Uh, this one didn't work out as well. I actually realized later in making this video that putting the strap closer to the center of the thigh is going to work better. It looks better, it's more accurate to the design. So yeah, made that mistake. So whenever you're using super glue, yeah, you're doing it at your own risk. Be very wary doing this. So here's how I did it. Uh, I put a little drop of super glue right underneath the joint and right underneath the joint on that side. And then I held this up right here and then blew on it and then twisted it side to side as it dried to make sure that I wasn't clogging up the joint or anything like that. And it stayed really well for me on this side right here and I'm really liking that. A bit unfortunate that Hasbro, you know, didn't have this taken care of. I would have liked to have seen that done, but you know, not the worst thing in the world, you know, still a good figure. And the articulation is very good on this piece too. His head moves all the way up, which is great. We need that for a Cyclops figure. And I love how the disc hinge in there matches the rest of the body really well. Uh, you can move the head all the way down, you get side to side movement right here and a little bit of neck pivot and it does shift forward and back like a mm -mm, pile driver. Uh, his shoulders move outward that much, they move downward that much, you can do a 360 up here, you get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, then both wrists swivel and hinge up and down. He does have the crunching right here and you can see how this will shift around as you crunch it and move back that much. Uh, you do get the side to side movement right here and yeah, you know, it moves within that strap. I guess that does look a little bit weird, but you can always, you know, adjust this as you'd like. Turn it that side and then turn that, yeah. See, that works, I like it. Anyway, hip joints move outward that much. Uh, he can kick forward that much and back some. He has an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, Boot rotation right there, and then the ankles move down, up, and of course he has the ankle pivot. Now measuring out this Cyclops figure, you can see that he is standing just a little over six and a half inches tall. And then for your Jim Lee Cyclops comparison, we have the Marvel Universe Cyclops right over here, still a very good figure. And then we have the X-Men Classic Cyclops from Toy Biz. And this isn't a bad figure, but I mean, just the way the body looks, the frame of it, it's very petite and small and skinny and just doesn't really work too well. There are some good things about it though, you know, the straps right here are sculpted on there and everything, and plus he does have a pretty mouth. Well, I'm not going to show the Cyclops figure compared to every X-Man figure in my collection. Here he is next to Wolverine, Jean Grey, and Rogue. And man, ah, just seeing the Cyclops figure amongst just these three right here, it makes me very happy. And comparing the Cyclops to some other Cyclops figure, we have our Toy Biz X-Men Classic Cyclops right here. We have the Astonishing Cyclops from Hasbro. And then we have the X-Factor Cyclops from Toy Biz once again. And you can see these two right here are sharing the same Bucky Cap body mold, as well as the Renegade Cyclops, which I don't have, and the first appearance. Cyclops from the Toys R Us box set. Uh, both of those figures had sold off, but there's enough Cyclops figures here for a Cyclops party! Yeah! <laughs> And then here's our Jim Lee Cyclops compared to the Marvel Legends big time no letdown Spider-Man. And then here's Cyclops on one foot running, shooting his optic blast over here. I really like this figure a lot. I do find myself finding him in a limited number of poses that I really want to get him in though. I mean, really, you just want him shooting his optic blast and that's really about it. Aside from some, you know, casual vanilla poses and stuff like that. But I really do like the figure a lot. The straps fall off, it bothers me, but I've always really liked Cyclops. When I was a kid, he was my favorite X-Man. I always wish 
I had that optic blast power, I used to fantasize about shooting beams out of my eyes, and having this Jim Lee Cyclops in proper figure form just makes me very happy. And I hope you guys are very happy with this review. If you are, please hit the like button, go ahead and leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of the figure, let me know what you think of the review. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, hit that notification bell so you know right away when the latest Shardimus Prime video is coming your way. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links all in the description below, as well as a link to the comic book cutouts, which are awesome. I highly recommend you get those comic book cutouts from the ACBA website. They are hella sick. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.